سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو آل فرینڈز آن لائن ایز سم فرینڈز ہیڈ ریکویسٹڈ اباؤٹ ٹو ذکر دے ہرڈ آن لائن ان کلاسز اینڈ دے سیٹ وی شوڈ کور اینڈ ٹاک اباؤٹ اٹ سو آفٹر آر فورٹی ڈیز وی ہیو ان ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ اینی ادر ذکر ان شاء اللہ We will learn two new, two new zikr from Quran and I'm sure one of that is very well known by Jamaat but we will go into meanings of it inshallah. So let us start with some Giri Auzari. I would like to share a Qasida with you, a beautiful Qasida with you. Um, The title of this Qasida is Giriyai Ishke Yaar Weeping in the Beloved's Love This gathering, the friends who are here online, they are lovers of Imam. So it's a gathering of lovers. And we all will get united in our heart to weep in the love of Beloved. So let us understand the meaning, the translation of the verses. گریائے عشق یار یاد آئے وصل کی وہ بہار یاد آئے ویپنگ ان بلوز لو آئی ریمبر دا اسپرنگ آف یونین آئی ریمبر شہ سوار برا کے بر کے جہان یا خدا بار بار یاد آئے دا ویلینٹ رائڈر آف دا براک of the world's lightning. Oh God, over and over, I remember. Wo jahane haseene noore khayal Wo jahane haseene noore khayal Har sahar ga hazaar yaad aay The exequate world of imagination's light Every morning A thousand times, I remember. Awalo akhiro nihano ayan, aaj wo aashikar yaad aay. The first, the last, the hidden and the manifest. That manifest today, I remember. Mere angels ganje makfi hain. Parda aur parda dar yaad aay. My angels are the hidden treasure, the veil and the veiled, I remember. Wo te yure bihisht hain ke mein khud hoon. Wo te yure bihisht hain ke mein khud hoon. Rehmate kirdgaar yaad aay. Are they the birds of paradise or is it myself? The Creator's mercy I remember. Ilm ki zulfiqar hasil ho Ilm ki zulfiqar hasil ho Sahibi zulfiqar yaad aay May you attain the zulfiqar of knowledge The Lord of zulfiqar I remember. Teri furqat se bhe qarar naseer 
تجھ کو یہ بے قرار یاد آئے نصیر از ریس لیس ان یور سپریشن دس ریس لیس ون مے یو ریمبر نصیر الدین نصیر ہنزائی تھرڈ سپٹمبر ٹو تھاؤزنڈ فائیو دس کسیدہ واز ریٹن سو وتھ یور پریئرس آئی ول سنگ اینڈ لیٹ ایس آل گیٹ یونائٹیڈ ان آر ہارٹ اینڈ ریمبر آر بلوڈ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم علی اللہ مدد فرما گری آئیش کے یار یاد آئے وصل کی وہ بہار یاد آئے گری آئیش کے یار یاد آئے شہ سوارے برا کے بر کے جہاں شہ سوارے برا کے بر کے جہاں یا خدا بار بار یاد آئے یا خدا بار بار یاد آئے گری آئیش کے یار یاد آئے وہ جہان حسین نور خیال وہ جہان حسین نور خیال ہر سہر کا ہزار یاد آئے ہر سہر کا ہزار یاد آئے گری آئیش کے یار یاد آئے اول و آخر و نہان و آیان اول و آخر و نہان و آیان آج وہ آج وہ آشکار یاد آئے گری آئیش کے یار یاد آئے میرے انجلز گنج معافی ہے میرے انجلز گنج معافی ہے پردہ اور پردہ دار یاد آئے پردہ اور پردہ دار یاد آئے گری آئیش کے یار یاد آئے وہ تیورے بہشت ہیں کہ میں خود ہوں وہ تیورے بہشت ہیں کہ میں خود ہوں رحمت کرتگار یاد آئے گری آئیش کے یار یاد آئے علم کی ظلف قار حاصل ہو علم کی ظلف قار حاصل ہو صاحب ظلف قار یاد آئے صاحب ظلف قار یاد آئے گری آئیش کے یار یاد آئے تیری فرقت سے بے قرار ہے نصیر تیری فرقت سے بے قرار ہے نصیر تجھ کو یہ بے قرار یاد آئے تجھ کو یہ بے قرار یاد آئے 
गिरिया के यार याद आए या मौला ट्रूली यू आर दी लॉर्ड ऑफ जुल्फिकार मौला या मौला वी रिमेंबर यू मौला वी हैव सीन यू फिजिकली इन डायमंड जुबली मौला या मौला वी रिमेंबर दैट इवेंट मौला वी रिमेंबर दैट मुलाकात मौला वी सीक यू मौला वेन वी आर गोइंग टू सी यू इन आर बात इन इन नुरानियत मौला वी रिमेंबर मौला वी रिमेंबर दैट मीटिंग मौला या मौला वो जहान हसीन नूर खयाल वो जहान हसीन नूर खयाल हर शहर का हसार याद आए हर शहर का हसार याद आए गिरिया याद आए या मौला वी नो दैट यू आर विथ अस मौला हाउ मच वी प्रे दैट वी वुड हैव आर बात नी आईज ओपन मौला दैट वी कुड सी यू मौला वी सी यू इन आर इमेजिनेशन इन आर थाट्स मौला या मौला गिव उस दो आईज मौला सो वी कैन सी यू आर हियर विथ अस मौला Oh Mola mercy on our poor souls Mola give us spirituality Mola give us your noor Mola we seek your didar Mola giriya ish ke yaar yaad aaye vasle ki wo bahar yaad aaye vasle ki wo bahar याद आए गिरियाश के यार याद आए हसबुल्लाह वो नीमुल वकील वो नीमुल मौला वो नीमुल नसीर हसबुल्लाह वो नीमुल वकील वो नीमुल मौला वो नीमुल नसीर शुक्र लीला शुक्र लीला welcome to all friends online based on your request we will review these two zikr with its understanding and inshallah whenever we do zikr giryawzari night we will include these two zikrs too so the first zikr is actually from chapter 20 verse 114 and the verse says high above all is allah the king the truth be not in haste with the quran before its revelation to thee is completed but say o oh my lord advance me in my knowledge pas allah ali shan wala sacha aur haqiqi badishah hai tu quran padhne mein jaldi na kar इससे पहले कि तेरी तरफ जो वही की जाती है वो पूरी की जाए हाँ ये दुआ कर कि परवरदिगार मेरा इल्म बढ़ा परवरदिगार मेरा इल्म बढ़ा रब्बी जिदनी इल्मा वी ऑल नो दिस जिक्र दिस दुआ वॉज एक्चुअली गिवन टू प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद when he used to go to garihira when he was given isma azam by the imam of that time maulana imran who we know as hazrat abu talib 
who was the father of Maulana Ali. According to the principle of Nurun Allah Nur, the Imam of that time was Maulana Imran. As Maulana Ali was very young, he was just a child. So when Maulana Imran gave Isma Azam to our Prophet Dinate, he used to go to Garehira to do his ibadat. And during his ibadat, when he completed his ibadat, and we do know about Prophet Muhammad, he was so pure in his deeds. He was his title was Amin or Sadiq. People would call him by the name of Amin and Sadiq. Amin meaning true, loyal, honest. Sadiq also means honest. They would give their valuable things to Prophet Muhammad to keep because he was so honest. People would trust him blindly. He was so sincere. So his deeds, his actions, his life, the way he lived his life, it was very pure and everybody trusted him. Along with that, he would do his zikro ibadat and especially the isme azad, the nurani time ibadat. It is during his nurani time ibadat that Jibrai came to him and said to him, Read, Ikra. And Prophet says, I do not know how to read. And this is misunderstood by people saying that he was not educated. Actually, when Tawil is not understood, of course, different meanings are extracted from these verses. In reality, Prophet was saying, whatever spirituality you are teaching me, the knowledge of spirituality, I know not. And Jibrai tells him, read by the name of Allah. When Prophet, started, when Prophet starts reading it, he gets very intoxicated in it. Ruhani Masti as our Mola says. Whenever one walks on the path of spirituality, according to Quran, there is a word in Arabic Tama wa khaf. Tama meaning you want it more and more you just want it more and more you desire it more and khaf at the same time you scared to and this is mentioned in Quran so Prophet was in that kind of situation he wanted it more that Ruhani Masti but at the same time it was strange to When our Prophet was in that state, this verse was revealed to him and he was told, High above all is Allah, the King, the truth. But not in haste with the Quran before its revelation. He wanted to know more and more. But everything happens at its time, right time. And we do not know what is our right time. But what was he told? Keep praying. Oh my Lord, Advance me in my knowledge. Now when we hear the word knowledge, we think, oh, we need to read more books. We need to study Quran, Ginan, Farman. Definitely, we do. Because laziness will not work here. With Mafi, I say that. We have to pick up the books. If we do want esoteric knowledge, understanding, we have to pick up the books and read. But at the same time, if we are only thinking of reading books and getting this knowledge from books, then we are in trouble. Because knowledge is not only in books. And we have learned these terms, given knowledge and bookish knowledge. Here, when our Prophet is saying this prayer, Rabbi Zidni Ilma, it is not only talking about knowledge from the books, but the book of the personal world. The knowledge which is inside our being, with our soul. The book of God, which is living in every soul. Atma Ram 
तमे बड़ा घिना नहीं बट अगेन वी डोंट नो बट वी वॉन्ट टू नो वी वॉन्ट टू लर्न वेन ऑल द कंडीशन आर मेट हाउ यू लिव द लाइफ हाउ यू वॉच योर डीज एंड एक्शंस हाउ मच डू यू स्लीप हाउ मच डू यू स्टडी दिस नॉलेज हाउ मच जिक्र डू यू डू हाउ रेगुलर लॉयल ऑनेस्ट वी आर इन आर नूरानी वक्त इबादत all these counts and then when we say this dua rabbi zidni ilma yes it is to seek prayer to get knowledge not only of books but when we read books when we do zikr when we sit in bandagi somehow somewhere it is taught made it more clear links are built we without understanding it how it's happening because it is taught to us within us because this knowledge is miraculous knowledge it is not straight from the books rabbi zidni ilma if someone were to think let me only attend classes and read books so i become knowledgeable then again i would quote ginan where our peers have mentioned azazil that he had read 36 crore kitaba 36 million books 36 million books he had read he was a learned man he was a scholar but what happened to him he did not get to the essence which was to be farman bardar to be humble so when we say this prayer it is not only applying to books of outside but inside so hidden and evident hidden and manifest everything so when we talk of inside and outside it reminds me of the next verse and let me share that with you chapter 12 verse 105 and it says and how many signs in the heavens and earth do they pass by yet they turn away from them aasman aur zameen mein bahut si nishaniyan hain jinse ye muh mode guzar jate hain like they don't see it is it not visible to them or what why don't they see it <coughs> excuse me let us take the example of sun moon and stars we do see sun moon stars in our physical world but now we know that the sun actually represents in the time of prophet the major prophet the sun is the natik and moon is the imam and stars are the other hudud e din whereas in current time imam is the sun imam is the sun and moon is peer and then stars are other hudud e din dais and mazun and what not but very strangely in today's time due to time of qiyama even moon is united in the sun and now we know why because in spirituality it is a special time this time is a very special time anyone who wants to become a peer like peace other the impatience the gates are open for them those who will meet the criteria they will be given that title in batin so again all these signs are there with knowledge of farman ginan and quran and in our universe but the connection has to be built and the connection happens inside when we are meeting all the requirements of worldly knowledge in the sense that reading the books and what not and then applying it on ourselves to learn this spirituality without practicality without application there will be no change no transformation second example i'd like to give you of silk worm to moth 
Now, this is a very tiny example, but there is so much wisdom in it that I had to pick it up when I was reading about it. And I have gone into depth of it and I am going to ask for forgiveness for some to some people who may not like uh, the pictures. They may grossed out, I do not know. But I'm going to show you why this example is so important to understand. That there is a worm. Okay, Allah has made this worm in the world. Look at this. Silk worm. Very tiny worm. Very tiny worm. If we were to walk, we might walk on it and without we realize. But imagine the function of this worm. This silk worm lives for how many days? 28, 30 days, somewhere there. And after that, it starts producing, it starts making this cocoon. It's called cocoon. By moving its head, it produces some, you know, fine fiber, something, and it starts making this cocoon. And it's a pure silk cocoon, you know, it's a silk thread kind of thing. Within 48 hours, this whole thing is built. And then what happens? Miracle. Miracle of Mola. A fly comes out of it. An insect or a mosquito. It's called silk. From silk worm, this cocoon comes and from cocoon comes this fly. And then this cocoon is being used to make silk, pure real silk. Now the silk we see, it's machine made. It's not real silk. This is, the, this is how we would get the pure and real silk. The purpose of showing this, this pictures and helping us understand this worm, which has no ability to fly. It's heavy, it's crawling, can't even stand up or walk. Can this worm ever imagine that it can fly? But it is pure miracle of Mola that within some time not only it produces silk but from that silk this insect comes out. So there are so many wisdoms in it. One we talked about being a worm crawling on the earth looking at the sky there is no way we can fly. And here comes wings and it can fly by hard work of day and night by producing that silk, that cocoon and from that cocoon comes out this, the life changes. So this worm becomes this fly and from that cocoon comes another worm. It represents cycle too. So from this worm which kind of makes that cocoon of silk and comes out, becomes this fly and from that cocoon another worm comes out. So the journey was started from the worm, cocoon, and then it becomes this fly, and then again there's another worm. So there's a understanding of a cycle too, that life goes on, it doesn't stop. So more than one understanding from this simple example from, of this world. Look at this Ginan. What does Peer say? Eji paankhriya jo hove to shahane jai milu. Shu karu maru pindaru na haat. What a pain, what a giryavazari when we seek our beloved, when we want to meet our mala and we cannot fly to meet him. How much a moment desires those wings which would make it fly and meet his beloved. So Peer says, what can I do? My body is not under my control. But in reality, there is a wisdom in this verse that if you want, if you want, you can do that. There is a beautiful hadith which says, O oh, children of Adam, if you were, were to truly obey me, I will make you like me. O oh, children of Adam, if you were to truly obey me, I will make you like me. Like me? Can we be like him? How amazing is that? So look at this verse. Now all this knowledge is available to us, all these signs are available to us, even then, what are we thinking? What are we doing? We need to understand that. And in Quran it says 13 by 16, 
are the blind equal with those who see can the blind be same as those who see or the depth of darkness equal with light or do they assign to allah partners who have created as he has created so that the creation seem to them similar say allah is the creator of all things he is the one the supreme and irresistible al wahid al qahar keh dijiye ki kya andha aur bina barabar hai kya andhere aur roshni barabar ho sakti hai those who work hard can they be equal to those who do not can the light and the darkness be same can the blind or seeing be same these are questions for us now chapter 17 verse 72 says those who are blind in this world will be blind in hereafter and they'll be most astray from the path so it's a choice which one has to make then in chapter 27 verse 66 says they have no knowledge of hereafter and they are in doubt about it in fact they are blind about it if something doesn't exist we don't need to worry about it they're blind if they are blind here they'll be blind there too and they'll be in fact most astray from the path now when we understand and if we say that we are the lovers of maula how will we do this zikr rabbi zidni ilma rabbi zidni ilma rabbi zidni ilma this is just a translation because i knew that you all know this arabic rabbi zidni ilma we should learn it in arabic and we should say it with proper correct pronunciation rabbi zidni ilma with all these understanding in our mind o oh mola i do not want to be blind i do not want to be away from you mola i seek you i love you and i want to be near you mola i want to see you and i want all the knowledge in my heart mola rabbi zidni ilma beautiful dua beautiful zikr Now look at this silk. I just wanted to show this. I do not know if it's the silk in his pagadi, but this is how I imagine. That imagine if we were to produce that silk with hard work, we might become the part of his pagadi. We might become the part of his jubba or his chair. He'll be close to our beloved. Rabbi zidni ilma. Rabbi zidni ilma. That's the emotion, the love we have to have in our heart and say this zikr. Rabbi zidni ilma. Now let's move to another zikr. But before that, let me just say it 11 times and you all unite in heart with me. Rabbi zidni ilma. Rabbi zidni ilma. Rabbi zidni ilma. Rabbi zidni ilma. Rabbi zidni ilma 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 Oh Mola listen to our prayers Mola Amen Now second is another beautiful Quranic verse Chapter sixty six, verse eight. I'm going to read the whole verse, but then we'll focus on the zikr. It says, "O oh, you who have believed, repent to Allah with sincere repentance. Perhaps your Lord will remove from you your misdeeds and admit you into gardens beneath which rivers flow." the day when allah will not grace the prophet will not disgrace the prophet and those who believed with him their light will proceed before them and on their right they will say our lord perfect for us our light and forgive us indeed you are over all things competent اے ایمان والو تم اللہ کے سامنے سچی خالص توبہ کرو جھوٹی جھوٹی نہیں سچی 
प्योर खालिश तोबा करो करीब है कि तुम्हारा रब तुम्हारे गुना दूर कर दे और तुम्हें ऐसी जन्नतों में दाखिल करे जिनके नीचे नहरें जारी हैं जिस दिन अल्लाह ताला नबी को और ईमान वालों को जो उनके साथ हैं रुसवाना करेगा उनका नूर उनके सामने और उनके दाएं जानब दौड़ रहा होगा ये दुआएं करते होंगे ए हमारे रब हमें कामिल नूर अता फरमा और हमें बख्श दे तो यकीन हर चीज पर कादिर है सो वट इज दुआ पार्ट द जिक्र पार्ट इट्स रब बना अतमिम लना नूर ना वक्फिर लना इन का आला इन का आला कुल शयन कदीर This part in a kala kulle shayin kadi we say it in our dua too, right? In fifth part, the only this part which we'll have to learn. So what is that? Rabbana, at mimlana, nurna, wakfirlana. These are the four new words. Rabbana, at mimlana, nurna, wakfirlana. इन कला कुल्ले शयन कदीर रबना आर लॉर्ड अतमिम लना परफेक्ट फॉर अस नूरना आर लाइट वक्फिर लना एंड फॉर गिव अस इन कला कुल्ले शयन कदीर इन डीड यू आर ओवर ऑल थिंग्स कॉम्पिटेंट रबना अतमिम लना नूरना वक्फिर लना इन अला कुल शयन कदीर ब्यूटिफुल प्रेयर ओ माई लॉर्ड परफेक्ट फॉर अस सो इट्स अ ग्रुप वी आर सेंग इट फॉर अस फॉर जमात ओ आर लॉर्ड परफेक्ट फॉर अस आर लाइट एंड फॉर गिव अस इन डीड यू आर ऑल ओवर यू आर ओवर ऑल थिंग्स कॉम्पिटेंट तो हर चीज पर कादिर है so what is noor when we are saying mola complete our noor our knowledge our zikr o ibadat our giriya uzari our deeds our ethics our humility kindness patience you name it noor is such encompassing word why is it like that because it's in darjat to for us right now we are trying to seek batin right now purifying our own deeds is for us to walk towards the noor and if we are watching our deeds and we are doing good that means that we are near to that noor and then comes probably becoming very regular in our ibadat another step in noor doing 23 hours of zikr another step in noor step by step step by step then we get to that level where prophet is saying Rabbi zidni ilma. Everything is encompassing within noor. Noor is so broad, and inshallah, next week also, we will be talking about noor. So we will understand how encompassing the noor is. It's not something which we are sitting in a dark and a light will burn, you know, come come on, and then that's noor. Noor is very very broad. it's the way of life the way you walk talk live your life it's all in noor so let us review this rabbana atmim lana noorna waqfir lana innaka ala kulli shay'in qadeer rabbana atmim lana noorna waqfir lana innaka ala kulli shay'in qadeer रबनात मिम लना नूर ना वक्फिर लना इन का अला कुल शयन कदीर रबना अत मिम लना नूर ना वक्फिर लना इन का अला कुल शयन कदीर रबना अत मिम लना नूर ना वक्फिर लना इन का अला कुल शयन कदीर So when we have conquered the words properly, then we can sing and enjoy it too. Rabbana atmim lana nurna wakfir lana 
So if friends have question, they can ask, all right. It is the ayat number of this zikr, the second one is 66 by 8. So if you were to see this word, four new words we are learning, right? Rabbana, we say it in dua so many times. Wakfir lana, we say it. So in reality, if we are learning these two words, it's Atmim lana, Noorana. Noorana is very simple, very easy. So it's mainly Atmim lana. So if friends take it like that, it's very easy, very beautiful. And we can truly ask, because what are we seeking? We are seeking Noor and Batin. We can literally put it in words and say to Mala Baba, Oh my Lord, perfect for us, our light, and forgive us. Because without forgiveness, how do we get close to Him? We are so sinful. So it's a beautiful, beautiful zikr tasbi. And um, I would request our friends Naveen and Shana Saiba to share the recordings of this zikr to online with the slides so they can look at it, they can listen to it, so they can practice and enjoy this beautiful zikr tasbi. Any question? Hi, uh, Yani Maila. So is this is it good to say this before we uh, start our banki? Sure. If that brings giryas are in your heart, why not? The key to do ibadat with good focus, we do need to do giryas are. Without giryas are, it is hard to be sitting during bandagi, like focus. We can sit, but it is to be able to focus. So Girya Zari is mandatory before Ibadat. If this zikr with its understanding and meaning makes your heart melt and soft and you feel more connected, 100% do this. Can we say it in English? Or? It's always good to learn Arabic. So I, I made it so simple that there is only one new word which you need to learn. And remember, we do need to work hard. Okay? And ek ka sawal aake. If we will learn one word, you know how much he is going to bless? Sawalak times. That we learn sawalak. A book probably we can make of sawalak words. 125,000 words. A book will be made. Can you imagine this such a huge benefit of learning one word and he's going to bless us for 125 words? 125,000 words. It's a good profitable business. We should do that. Again, so I can tape you, please. Oh, to Zikar? Uh, you will get this recording too. Okay. But I want to start tomorrow morning. Oh, okay, okay. Rabbi Zidini Ilma. Rabbana Atmimlana Noorana Wakfirlana Inna ka ala kulli shayin kadir. Can I ask a question? Sure, please. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Uh, so, like, you know, like we uh, you were saying that we can uh, do this uh, Giri Azari or any Giri Azari before starting the Bangi. So, if we are in Jamaat Khana during the, you know, Betul Khyal, so just before the Betul Khyal starts, like, you know, there are Dinan and Farman and everything, right? So then there is no chance, like, you know, because we have to participate in that Farman and in that Dinan. So then there is no time to say the Giriyazari like at four, you know, at four o'clock you start Bangi, right? 
or can we can we say the girihazari like for, for a few minutes before we start the bangi i mean so humbly i will give my humble opinion so number one first you are blessed to be going to jamaat khana not everybody is able to do that okay so those who are at home i mean i'm not going to jamaat khana uh, now I, right now of course i'm yes. talking about when we go okay all right so i i understand but i wanted to give both the scenario so let's say if we are sitting in bandagi and um, the biggest struggle when people sit in bandagi the biggest issue is that we are not able to control our thoughts because we are going here and there and probably the hour passes and we do not feel that we did uh, you know good bandagi for that when that happens it's better when you sit at 4 o'clock jamaat khana ginan is done you know you've done your uh, uh, there's a uh, lights are off and you're sitting then you have a talk with mola baba because it's now you and your mola and truly this is a talk actually if we were to imagine if we are sitting in bandagi all of us together okay we'll imagine and we say mola baba mukhi sahib has given me dua but mola you know how weak poor i am mola as soon as i will start your name shaitan is going to give me all the kinds of thoughts and i would probably go with those flow of thoughts mola ya mola i am very weak rabbana atmim lana nurna waqfil lana innaka ala kulli shay'in qadeer say it with understanding few times and you're talking by saying this dua if you know the meaning oh my mola please complete my nur mola perfect my nur mola forgive my sins mola you are qadir on everything remember i say it in urdu inna ka allah kulli shay'in qadeer in arabic tu har cheez par qadir hai ya mola ya mola help me help me mola i am so sinful help me perfect my nur mola please mola madad farma so this zikr is actually your giryazari you are saying it and it becomes your giryazari right so you can do this this be text here that i am 80 years old and i cannot learn arabic i honestly again very very humbly please forgive me i do not intend to hurt anybody you are child of mola baba mola who is the king of kings we are princesses and prince here do not think that you are old because mola says don't think you are old i would say always try give it a try just do not say that i am old so i cannot do it attempt if you are not successful he is forgiving but how happy he would be that you tried always try i would appreciate you try write it down listen practice with your friends why not get one or two friends or young kids help me learn this i'm going to tell it to you when we were kids or kids are learning when trying to memorize something they would say hold this paper and i'll say it to you and you check me if i'm i'm saying it correctly or not do that with your grandkids or your child you are teaching your child too at the same time don't we want our children to learn zikr and they will remember that my mom or my dadi my nani who's 80 years old she was trying to learn this zikr it's such a beautiful zikr she used to play it there too and she used to do that let me do it too remember we are not doing it for ourselves yeah first we are responsible for ourselves but our actions are actually it becomes a reason for learning for others so why not try and you'll be surprised don't underestimate you are princess ma'am you are the child of mola baba and mala says you are never old so i don't think you are old old is just a age of this body our soul is beautiful and young it can learn anything you want it to learn so very humbly i have answered your question any other question all right if there is no question then yali my name is alba मैं मोला एक्सेप्ट योर सेवा आमीन आमीन